have to look at the principal quantum orbital, principal quantum level. The outermost principal quantum level is three, isn't it? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear. You. So that already the two uh, principal quantum level, principal level two is full. Now, we, so the outermost electrons are occupying principal three. Now, those electrons in the principal quantum level three are what you can call the valence electron. In that case, the one electron in the S is the valence electron in sodium. That is why sodium has a valency of one. When we are talking about calcium, we saw that the outermost electrons are in the four level, in the four S, isn't it? Yes. Those are what we call valence electrons. Electrons occupying the outermost orbital that can be used now for bonding. For a group of electrons, group corresponds to a number of valence electrons. Electron dot structures, elemental stable surrounded by dots represent the valence electron. For example, carbon is, 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 is atomic number six. So if you carbon, if you give the electronic configuration of carbon, um, the first it is one s two, then two s two, two p two. That is at the ground state, isn't it? Yes. Yes. But two s two and two p two are in the outermost principal quantum level. So carbon. And uh, although now those who are doing organic chemistry, we talk about how those electrons now jump so that we end up with one, uh, two S, uh, or, or, or two S one and two two P three, because those four electrons are in the outermost orbital and can be used for boarding, we call them valence electrons. Are you together? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So basically today we have looked at SPD, what we call SPDF electronic configuration and the rules that govern the SPDF electronic configuration. That is Hart's rule of both principles. And we have also mentioned Pauri's exclusive uh, principle. You can go and look at a deeper definition of Pauri's from the modules. I think I've posted, I'll check. So unless you are very good, that will be the end of today's lesson. I have a question. Yes, ask. So when you're looking valency electrons, what do you consider when you have the principal quantum number? Which quantum number do you consider? Is it the P or, for instance, the one we had for uh, Magnesium, not magnesium, but calcium, which has 20. What do you consider? So, for example, magnesium, in magnesium. Yes. Uh, mostly would say the 3D, the 5, uh -huh. but also because the 3D is the one that is being fueled, right? Yeah. But also the 4S, which is also uh, outer of the 3D. Those are what you can call, because for example, magnesium, manganese, or you are talking about manganese or magnesium? Manganese. 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 Yeah. You know, that is why manganese, for example, in potassium permanganate, exhibits a valency of seven, isn't it? Yeah. Because it is utilizing the 3D, the five 3D orbit uh, electrons, which are the ones that are in the feeding process, but it can also lose the 4S. So both the 4S and 3D could be considered as valence electrons. What about calcium? Calcium. Calcium does not have any electrons in the 3D, so we can only consider the 4S. And therefore, it is a valency of two. What about 3P? About? 3P6. Can't get the name. About, what about? You ask. 
I say, can you count uh, three P six as a valence electron? Sir? Can you count three P six as a valence electron? I can only get six. For, I don't get for the calcium. For the calcium, can we okay. count three P six as a valence electron? Three P six. Yes. No, because you have already moved from the, the, the from the third principal level. You have already gone to the fourth, so you, you are you, your outermost uh, principal quantum is 4s, and because oh, you have, yeah, yeah. So, so you have no electron in D, then you only consider the 4, 4s2 as the valence electron. Okay, so what okay. you mean is if we have moved from the let's say from the we consider when you're considering valence electrons, we consider the number of the principal quantum. Yes, the, the principal quantum. But if there is another uh, sublevel that is being filled above the principal quantum, then you include. Oh, so that's why in the case of manganese, you have to include four and three. Two. That four is why we have three. six, five plus six plus two. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So I think with that, uh, I'll wish you a, a, is it a good, good night? Meet next week. Have you sent the notes that time? I, I think I have posted, but I'll check. If I have not, I'll post. Okay, then yeah, I have another question. And module notes, yes? Can you help us with questions that we can have an idea of how the questions come. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll I'll look for a past paper or two and then post. Okay, thank you. So, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. We are now better. Hello. Hello. Do you want to buy a What do I see? And I see to find a discussion to do on any views. Oh, please call views. What do I have an idea? Kwa room, moja, moja, kwanza. Now, Lisa, you call me some of us to angular, angular principle, quantum magnetic mass. Una mari ziko kwa table. Iyo, izo kwa notes. Oh, page 27. Wow. Page 27 image or it has drawn the electrons for the first that elements. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. I hope in the class of any other class. I hope in the class of I less of your feeling. Yeah. Yeah. The first lesson, because this is my first lesson today. That is the next part. This is the second part. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Go happy. What is that?
What if we get to make a PDF call? You can download. I love when I never manage to put up as papers to discuss. Yeah. 